Hi there and welcome to Kilobits. Today I'd like to talk about Intel's lies. So recently I built a small form factor ITX system using this exact um, setup here. Uh, it's a J5040 ITX from ASRock and um, I'd like to start out by saying I don't blame ASRock in the slightest for what's gone on here but I do in fact blame Intel. So here's, here's the basis of the problem. So the J5040 is an Intel 8th gen Pentium Silver. Uh, it's a 10 watt CPU and I was going to use it for a um, home theatre setup. So playing movies etc. And the problem is, if we scroll down here, they do not support 10-bit displays. They do not support HDR. Interesting. Um, so anyway, so that's ASRock's website. So when I built the system, and I couldn't get a 10-bit display to work, I checked that again and I found that very strange. And that isn't the exact listing I read. And then I went on to Intel's website. I don't know how well you can see this. But I'm going to read some of it to you. So I went onto Intel's website. It features a UHD 605 iGPU. And somebody had already asked, does Gemini Lake UHD 605 support HDR? And by the way, this is buried. This is not like on their product information page. And I go into detail on that in a minute. Does it support HDR? Well, I don't know, let me just find out for you, is the basis of the next reply. Thank you for asking the question. No, it does not support HDR. So I find that post after I've built it. That's not on the spec sheet. That's not on anything. That's hidden. So I post this. This is my research. High dynamic range support. HDR is supported on 7th gen Intel Core processors and newer platforms. So anything newer than 7th gen supports HDR, according to Intel's website. So there I say, well, what the f fish? You claim that it does if it's newer than 7th gen. Blah, blah, blah. Same thing again. I'm quite angry. Ah, OK. Here it is. This line here. So the Intel UHD 605 graphics has 18 compute units, supports all the standards it, it supports, including HEVC, encode and decode, to provide substantially improved video quality and a higher bit depth video experience. So it provides a higher bit depth video experience, but doesn't support a higher bit depth. So what part of that experience am I actually getting then? What part of the actual experience am I getting then? Hardware acceleration, 8 bit, 10 bit, 8 bit, three displays, DVI, VGA, HDMI, triple monitor, 4K60, blah, 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 uh, auto lip sync, HBR. Mm, we spot HBR. What? What? Sorry, HDR. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, H HBR. Mm, okay, sweet. What the? F it's HBR. High bit rate audio. Oh. So do you support HDR? Oh, we support 10 bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dubious. Dubious. The UHD 605 can use QuickSync to transcode and encode 4K HDR 10 bit according to my testing. And pretty much in real time. And that's transcode it. That's not just view it. 
it can transcode it. The only reason I can see is artificial limitations. If this is physically limited, then you really shouldn't be advertising it as, as providing a higher bit depth viewing experience when I'm only getting an 8-bit display. This is a, a 4K HDR TV. It definitely works in HDR. Everything else will display in HDR just fine. And this won't. And I'm not happy. And I want a resolution from Intel. I want a system that provides HDR and only uses 10 watts of power. And I have no more money to put towards it. So they better make that right. Otherwise I'm going to slag them off at every turn from now until forevermore. Because I don't forget the people who screw me over. How many people have you lied to? Well, the other thing I point out here is, um, so it says, and newer platforms. And although Gemini Lake is based on in the 8th gen, um, it's a design, it's a refresh, so it's from 2019. So that is way after the 7th gen. Uh, yeah, it, it should have HDR. And their misleading claims definitely imply that it is capable of a higher bit depth than standard, which is going to be 10 bit. So where is it? So anyway, please like, share, subscribe. I'd really like you to share this one. Share it with anyone who does tech press. Maybe we can get this out there. Um, also consider subscribing because uh, I really need some subscribers. Yay! Have a nice day now.